and thank you for watching. So in this video, I'm going to unbox and review from the iconic scene from the iconic movie, Barbie the movie, the inline skater Barbie and Ken. I got them both. Let's take a closer look. These are the boxes of the two inline skating dolls from Barbie the movie. Of course, we have Ken and we have Barbie. Now, it's really interesting that the boxes are actually pretty identical on both sides, but on the back, they are actually different. So, for Ken, we actually have the Barbie dream house here. And you want to pause the video if you want to read what it says, the greetings from Barbie land. And then it also has the dream house over here. Very cool. Now, of course, on the Barbie box, we get Margot Robbie. She was so good in the movie, wasn't she? So if you want to pause the video and read there, you can go ahead and do that and of course look at her oh she was so so good so anyway i'm actually going to put our queen to the side and i am going to unbox our ken first which was supposed to was played by what ryan godling was his name gasling i can't remember his name but let's get the box open i'm not planning to really save this box so i'm not going to be as genteel as i like to try to be Sometimes this is me in real life. How I open, I just rip. I'm not trying to save. I got I have too much in my house. Don't you? Uh, where do we put them all? But we keep buying them. All right. So let's take a look at him. So I am gonna go in, and because of his visor, it's kind of hard to see. But he's got that that mm, that face. I'm, mm, yeah. Mm, I'm not a big fan, but I did love the outfit and the scene. And as you can see, we've got our skates over here. And oh, look, a fanny pack. So cool. And of course, we got our knee pads. <laughs> and of course, he's barefoot because we've got the skates right over here. So I'm going to remove this doll from the liner so that we could take a closer look at him and everything that comes with all of them. This is a close-up of the Ken from the inline Ken skater doll. And as you can see, it's got the, I don't know if they call this the Ryan Gosling or what, or Gosling inspired, but it's the Ken from the movie. I'm not a big fan of the skull, but I really did love the movie and this scene. And someone kept saying, get that outfit, get that outfit. I don't know who, but someone. But as you can see, the visor is really secured on his head. I'm actually going to leave the visor like this uh, just for now. I may remove it towards the end of the video, but I did want to do the 360 with the visor just complete, just as it was from the box. Now, I do want to see more detail from this doll. As you can see, he does come on an articulated body, although I do wish he had come on a made-to-move body. That would have been a lot more fun. At least he is articulated, and wrist and elbows and all that stuff is very, very, they're very, very important to me. So as you can see, he's got the outfit from the movie, and it's really oversized. I think it's meant to be. It just feels like it's a little bit ill-fitting, this shirt here, the overshirt, but underneath everything else looks perfect, as you can see. He's got this fanny pack, and he also has the little wrist, uh, what are these things called? Wrist bracelets or something to protect him. <laughs> so I just want to turn him around. You can see he's got the also the elastic on the back of his jacket, which was really a great uh, item or a great thing that they used to do back in the 80s. I really love that. And you can see just more detail of the print. And I will do a 360. And you can also see the knee pads as well. And I do want to turn them around so that you can see how they come on and off. Very, very easy with the little snaps or clamps there. I'm also going to remove the shirt. I just want to see. Ah, so it's all one. It does not have an opening in the back very cool and also this is how you can adjust the fanny pack very cool now another thing of course is that just 
doll does come barefoot for a reason. He's barefoot because he comes with these really cool skates. And as you can see, they're just like Bart, you know, the Ken shoes where it has the opening in the back. So you just slip these onto his feet and voila, he is ready to zip on by. So unfortunately, the inline skater Ken did not come with his own display stand. Shame, shame, Mattel. Shame. Shame. But we're not going to let that stop us from doing a 360. Let's do a 360. I am a huge fan of articulated dolls because I like to play with my dolls. But it's really dolls like these that really, really point out how important articulation is. This doll looks like so much fun, and especially with the articulation. So I am going to go in on his face, and we can see his visor there, very colorful. You can see also his hair, and it's almost evenly cut, but... We can still see the plastic that keeps the visor on. Now, I'm going to go just a little bit lower so that you can see the details of the shirt and the fabric. And you can see also the fanny pack that peeks out through. Again, I really do love that elastic. Really very cool. And you can see the print on the shorts as well. You can also see he has the little wrist protectors there. And also, of course, I do want to see that face. Now, I'm going to go down so that you can see the knee protectors or knee pads that he has there. And you can see how they open and close. And they actually were a little bit loose. I needed to tighten them just a little bit just to keep them secure on there. But not a problem. I love that they're adjustable. And you can see also the skates there. This is really fun. They're very bright and vibrant. And I love that they match the set from Barbie and you can see the Impala on there and of course the little splits on the back that make it easier for you to remove the boots or put them back on really cute material and that's the 360 of inline skater Ken from Barbie the movie I was super excited when it was announced that Margot Robbie would be playing Barbie for two reasons. Number one, I couldn't really think of anyone better to play her. And number two, it meant we were going to get Margot Robbie dolls. Yes, yes, yes. I am all in. So I am going to just rip this open. I'm not trying to save my box. I just want to get this doll out and take a look at her. Okay, I'm being savage now. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, bare feet. Oh, and we've got the knee, what do you call it, knee pads. Very cool, but of course what I really want to see is that face. Now she is looking gorgeous. Now the hair, I'm not, ooh, the hair's looking a little scary there. Uh -uh. Yeah, looking a little scary, but Margo is looking super cute and I'm loving the visor. And look at all the fun colors. Now it looks like her elbow pads need to be moved around just a little bit but that's easy to do and of course this outfit that she wore in the movie very cool of course she's got bare feet you hear me just tearing stuff look at me <laughs> but of course she's barefoot because she has the skates on the side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove her from the liner so that we could take a closer look at margot robbie as barbie this is a close-up from the Barbie movie, Margot Robbie as Barbie. And as you can see, it looks a lot like Margot Robbie from the movie. I mean, you know, it looks like a doll, of course, but I really can see her face in this. Really nice job. Not a big fan of those earrings that I'm seeing, but then again, you know, hey, we gotta, they gotta cut their uh, corners and stuff, I understand. So you can see the visor here, and it's the same as Ken's, and you can also see that it's really secured in there. I am going to leave it secured as is, at least for the 360, and I may remove it before then, but although I am a little bit nervous about that, you can see her little string there just to kind of keep her hair in 
place. Now, I will say that once I removed her from the liner, the hair was not as scary as I thought, but it looks like once I maybe remove the visor, then we'll see. So anyway, I did want to just go in on that face. Very, very cute. Now, I'm going to pull out. She does come on art, an articulated body, which means she has the elbows and wrists and the knees that bend. I do wish that she had come in on, on a made-to-move body. I think that would have been a lot more appropriate and much, much more fun. But it is what it is. I'm happy that she actually got some articulation. She actually does come with some elbow pads and they actually kind of fell off they were kind of loose there but that's fine i'll secure them later on and it's actually kind of nice because i did want to show you how they come on and off very easily there she also comes with these knee pads that are similar to what ken comes with and you can see they're also removable very easily i also do want to take a look at the little unitard piece that she is wearing. It looks like it's all one piece and it does come on and off with the Velcro. In the, oh wait, no, it's not all one piece. I am so wrong. Look at that. Thank you, Mattel. They did not cut that corner. They actually did give us a separate, two separate pieces for her little unitard. Look, very, very nice. Oh wait, I'm, I'm, she's losing her decency. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> this doll does come with flat feet. I'm not usually a fan of the flat feet, but then again, it was really appropriate for this doll because she comes with these fabulous skates, as you can see. Okay, now you can see. <laughs> so anyway, I did want to show you them. They're really, really cute they come on and off really easily you have the opening in the back so it's just easy to remove and they have the little wheels at the bottom very very cool so unfortunately the inline skater barbie doll did not come with her own display stand shame shame mattel shame so i got one for my own collection so Let's do a 360. It's kind of a shame that these dolls did not come with a display stand just because they are the perfect dolls to me in that you can have a lot of fun playing with them, but these are really even fun to have displayed. I mean, yeah, these, these are really a really great set of dolls or really good design dolls. So as you can see here, we've got our Margot Robbie as Barbie with her visor on and of course it's secured. We can also take a look at her hair and how it's styled underneath. It looks like she's fully rooted which looks like that would be a great thing if she is. And of course let's go in on her screening. Very very pretty. She's got those clear green earrings but then again I think that was kind of similar to what they were in the movies. You can also see her long hair, which I don't understand that gelled curl, but let's take a look at the rest of it. Very nice. And also, of course, she's got the elbow pads or guards, and I love that she's articulated. And of course, you can see the pattern and fabric that is used for her outfit. And another one of those elbow protectors. And I'm going to scroll down so that you can see she's also have the ones that protect her knees. I'm so glad they're articulated and they're also adjustable. They were a little bit loose, but again, I love that they're adjustable so it makes it a little bit easier. And you can also see the details of her skates. Very cool, very fun. And you can see again the openings in the back, which make it really easy to remove and put back on. And I love just how bright and neon they are. This is just a really really fun set and of course that smile and that is the 360 of margot robbie as barbie in the inline skater outfit from the barbie movie let's welcome our panel first we have fashion trendsetter and princess of mattel millie barbie and miss honey Next, we have Barbie's GBFF, Tango Ken, and Sugar. 
And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez and her stolen dog, Aurora. So Barbie, I'm gonna start with you and you have a note and you say, I don't know, I think the set would be more fun with Tango and I. And Tango, you have a note and you say, why is Margot Robbie in your outfit, Barbie? <laughs> and Alyssa, you have a note. And you say, It's a trap, Coco! <laughs> yeah. A trap indeed. Margo, at least you got a coupon for the doll spa. <laughs> and it looks like Big May and the Silver Knight have come for another Ken from the movie. <laughs> so much excitement. Well, uh, thank you, panel. For inline skater Barbie, I think she is a win-win-win. I think she's really pretty. I love that she has an articulated body. A made-to-move body would have been more appropriate and a display stand. However, just the doll herself and the articulation, I think this is a lot of fun. And this was really, to me, an iconic scene in the movie. And I would love to recreate that on Venice Beach myself. So lots and lots of fun with Barbie. Now, for Ken, I am not a fan of the face sculpt that came with this doll. That aside, I love that he's articulated, I love the outfit, and I love that another doll is going to enjoy this outfit. I'm so glad that they made both of these dolls, and I'm so glad that I did actually have an opportunity to get them. So, I like them. I hope that you like this video. If you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, please make sure that you do that today. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on videos like this one. There's a little button somewhere down there. Really easy. Do it. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.